Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique submachine gun known as the silver submachine gun. Just like a submachine gun, only silver. Now to acquire this weapon, we will need to come to the town of Good Neighbor. You can go to the areas around Good Neighbor, but screw it, just come straight to Good Neighbor, it's a guaranteed way to get the quest. Now on the Pip-Boy map, Good Neighbor can be found to the northeast of Diamond City. And once we are here, we want to tune into the radio station known as the Silver Shroud Radio. Listen to it for 10 or so seconds and it will begin the quest, the Silver Shroud. As we can see under quests here, we now have the quest, the Silver Shroud. The first thing we need to do is come to the Memory Den. And once in here, we need to speak to Kent and agree to retrieve the Silver Shroud costume from Hubris Comics. Now, as this is a fairly long quest and an incredibly fun quest, I'm not going to walk us through slash spoil all of it, but I will give you just one tip. Once we get to Hubris Comics to pick up the Silver Shroud costume, we need to make sure to go behind the screen and on a box will be the Silver Submachine Gun prop. I highly advise that you pick it up now. Then, when you return to Kent with the Silver Shroud costume, he will ask you to become the Silver Shroud. And provided you picked up the Silver Submachine Gun prop as well, when you hand him the costume, which he hands back, you hand him the prop as well, and then he will hand you an actual working Silver Submachine Gun. Now, if you get the prop after finishing the quest, Cleo in Good Neighbor will sell the gun. So that's the two ways to get the Silver Submachine Gun. Now, as always, before looking at the weapons base stats, I have reduced all my character's special attribute stats to one. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character so what this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of the weapon. So now let's mod it out. First of all, I'm going to be going with the powerful receiver. This increases damage by 25%, reduces range by one times, and increases VATS cost by 25%. Next, we're going to be going with the short light barrel. This adds five times minimum range, adds nine times maximum range, reduces sight spread by 10%, reduces minimum spread by 25%, reduces recoil by 10%, reduces VATS cost by 15%, and reduces sight time by 3%. Next, we're going to be going with the recoil compensating stock. This reduces sight sway by 7%, reduces sight spread by 40%, reduces recoil by 30%, increases VATS cost by 20%, increases sight time by 10%, and increases bash damage by 100%. But next, we're going to add on the large quick eject drum. This takes the magazine size to 100, reduces reload time by 20%, and increases sight time by 3%. Then we're going to be going with the reflex sight. This adds 1.5 times zoom, reduces sight spread by 15%, reduces VATS cost by 15%, and reduces sight time by 10%. Now, if you like, you can go with the muzzle brake or the suppressor, but purely in the spirit of keeping it as silver shroudy looking as possible, I'm just going to be going with the compensator. This reduces minimum range by 0.5 times, reduces max range by 1 times, reduces horizontal recoil by 100%, and reduces all over recoil by 15%. Now, while we take a look at it, take notice of its unique coloring. It's much darker than normal, and while it's spinning around here, we get a pretty damn good look at it. So, once it has been modded out the way I just did, it has a base ballistic damage of 16, it uses the 45 rounds as ammunition. It has a fire rate of 127. Its range is 95. Its accuracy is 77. Its weight is 17.5 pounds and its value is 231 caps. And as we can see up the top there, silver submachine gun. And unfortunately it has no legendary prefixes, which is unfortunate and makes it worse than pretty much any other submachine gun that you could find in the game, especially something like spray and pray. The video link for that can be found in the description if you are curious. Now, given that the silver submachine gun is essentially a non-legendary submachine gun. In terms of use in game and damage and stuff like that, it's just exactly the same as a standard one. So I'm not going to be talking much about its use in game. It's more of a collectible item. And one of the incredibly rare weapons that actually has a unique skin. Although it uses the same model shapes, it is uniquely colored, which proves that Bethesda can do it. The question is, why the hell did they not do it for every single unique weapon in the game? Something that keeps me up at night, praying to my shrine of Todd Howard. In the Fallout universe, there is a comic book series, a TV series, and a radio series, all of which include the Silver Shroud as a fictional, mysterious vigilante who prowls the streets of Boston, terrorizing criminals across the city. He is always depicted wearing a long black trench coat with a silver scarf, a black fedora, and wielding a silver submachine gun as his preferred weapon, the very one you see here now. He also appears regularly as a member of the Unstoppables, along with other hubris comics heroes such as Grognak the Barbarian. So that's essentially the backstory of the weapon, but now onto its unique skinning or colouring. 
The silver submachine gun is a shinier than normal submachine gun and also has darker colored wood for the pistol grip and stock. As we learnt earlier, other than that, it is no different from the normal standard submachine gun. Again, sadly, it has no special stats, properties, or access to any different weapon modifications, unlike, say, the Deliverer. However, interestingly, and quite heartwarmingly, weapon modifications applied to this weapon get the same color schemes as the original parts, i.e. if you add any mods, they're still going to be shiny and the wood's still going to be dark. Again, warming my heart, letting us all know that it is possible for Bethesda to actually change the colour of weapons, including all of their then added modifications. Again, raising the questions as to why did you not do this for every unique weapon, but only for two, I do believe, the Deliverer and the Silver Submachine Gun. Although I love the hundreds of blinky lights and dials that the design team have created, I do believe that in terms of creative design, unique weapons should come pretty much at the top of the list. Dials and blinky lights should come last. But the Silver Submachine Gun is one of the rare ones that got through. Once again, unfortunately, apart from its unique colour scheme, there's nothing special about it. Except for one fact, which none of you will find interesting. The silver submachine gun cannot be renamed at a workbench, because the silver submachine gun does not have a unique item ID. It is simply a leveled list the game uses to reward the player with the silver submachine gun during the quest The Silver Shroud. This particular idiosyncrasy is shared by only two other weapons, Ashmaker and the Survivor Special. So apart from name and its skin, it is pretty boring. But hell, if you want to do a Silver Shroud build, I think this is the weapon for it. So there we have it, the Silver Submachine Gun, and the sub is right. It certainly is sub of a machine gun. It could have been better, i.e. a unique legendary prefix. Well, we know which gun came second, and I do hear they're going to be releasing a better version of this gun. It's going to be called the Gold Submachine Gun. But for now, here it is, the Silver Submachine Gun in action. <laughs> And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my walkthrough guide for the Silver Submachine Gun. I do hope that it helped you out in some way, and gave you some insight into, yes, they can actually make some unique looking weapons. If this video did help you out, I think you will be very interested on clicking on the playlist button on screen. This, of course, will take you directly to my Fallout 4 Guides playlist, where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or, you can check in the description, where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 Guides that I upload. If you would like to see the Gold Submachine Gun, please feel free to follow me on Twitter. Nothing even relevant to that comment will be on there, but just follow me anyway. The link can be found in the description, or you can search Camelworks on Twitter. And with all that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.